Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a back to school slash shopping haul. Um, some things are from Amazon, but they're on my storefront. Uh, uh, I think it's like pens and pencils, I think, but they're really cute. And then I have some shoes, well, one pair of shoes, and then things from Marshalls. But let's go first with the shoes, because I know my pen haul is like gonna be really hectic. So the first thing I got is this Converse. I wanted like the black and white high top, but instead I picked these. I picked these, they're really cute. Color too. It's like white and black, so it's kind of different from the original black and white. I did have a original black and white Converse low tops, so yeah. I wanted to have my own one, and this was $74.99. I'm a size 10, but that's how much it was. Oh, yeah, I did. I have books too. Well, two books. Um, my third book. I'm still reading, so then start out with these. So these are from Barnes and Nobles. I got this book right here 50% off. Um, this is Tales of the Celestial Kingdom by Sue and Tan. And of course, okay. Uh, this is Heart of Sun Word. This one was 20, well, 19 20 bucks. So, yeah, that was that books. Now let's do things for Marshalls. I already used it. It's a little bit wet, but I got these cute bows coffee in it. This was $6.99. I did take a tag off of it because I was like, I want to not see the tag on my, on my bottles because it might like, you know, get wet and stuff like that. It's like weird to do. So I, this is the bow one. They had so many cute Halloween stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, so cute. But I didn't really pick a lot of Halloween anything. So yeah. Let's start with Marshalls. That's, this is from Marshalls. This one's from Marshalls. Books are from Books A Million, and then the shoes are from Shoe Department, so, yeah. So let's start with makeup first. <laughs> I got these, they have them there. This one's kind of cracked, but it was on sale, so. I got these at Marshalls. So, let's do is, so let's go ahead and do some things with swatches. So I got the baby mom. I didn't like the other one they had, which was birthday cake. It didn't smell good. So I went with this one. Excuse me. Um, I've got it. It's super gummy and it's $5.99 from It smells really good. I already have two, which is. Uh, if I can keep this out. <laughs> which is. I'm sure you had it too late. Can I want to collect all of them because I love these at 21. Like anything. I got Koya. Swatching for a star show, which is right here. I'm gonna swatch it on my arms. It's okay, it's like literally matching my skin color, so you cannot see it at all. Then, we're gonna do the color color, it's, it's a stretch. I know I haven't done a haul video in a while, but um, I want to do one, so why not? This is so pretty. It's a stretch, it's like a red color, red glitter color. Then I'm gonna do crown. Okay, crown's a bit darker, so you can kind of like see it. <laughs> then we're doing supernatural. Oh my gosh, it's super pretty. It's like purple. So do that. I'm gonna put it back up here. There you go. Supernatural is this color right here. She's like a purple to me. She's looking kind of, you know. I think that was a bit too much, so, on my finger. Then we're doing Unique, which is the middle color. It's this color right here. It's like a purple. It's like right here. <laughs> I like how it's just, it's so pigmented. And then we're going to do Discovery. I'm going to put this one on my hand. 
and I'm gonna put curious on here too. So curious and one of kind can all go right here. Whoa, this one's like popping. So those are these colors here that I just named. And then the last one is hyper elastic, which, oh my gosh, I have no more space for over here. So hyper elastic is this color. It's kind of light, hold on. There you go. That's how you do it. I like anything from the Crim Shop, so their eyeshadow palette is really good. I already have now two, which is, I didn't show, but I got it last time. It's the RJ one. It's really cute. I have to pull that out, <laughs> like, later. Um, but yeah, next is this one. This one does have a crack in it, but it hasn't been used, and this one was on sale for $4, so I was like, I'm just gonna grab it. Why not? Take it home with me. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Why is this not coming out? Oh my god, it literally does not want to come out. Oh, actually, I could take out Tata. I don't know why I put him back in my packaging. His packaging, like, he can, oh, he can stay out. His is Galactic, so his is called Galactic. The other one was, like, it's a fluffy artist, like, fluffy something. I can't remember, but, yeah. Gummy bear. So cute. All right, so let's try to open. Jesus, I might not have to rip it open to get it out. Um, yeah, it's crack, crack, but this one has a lot of purple. It has a lot of purple. And this is called Mauve with me. I like anything mauve, so, oh, it has little film things, so you know it didn't, like, mess up. Like, someone's touching it. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I, oh my gosh. Um, let's start with Full of Hope. So we'll do Full of Hope. I'm gonna do it right here. Oh wow, it's like a... It literally matched my tone of scared. What the heck? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, there you go. I got, I had to add a little more. There's no limit. So I'm gonna add all the swatches on here. Hidden Talent. Oh, I like the names of the shades. That's really cute. Did I purple you? What? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me, like, swap it down a bit because, like, there's, like, a little bit chunk chunk. That's cute. Heart nose. Hold on. Always the shades that have, like, no glitter. It can be sometimes a little bit hard to pop out. Watch me. Ooh, this is, like, a pretty purple. There you go. Ooh, the purple. That's snatching. That's seriously pretty. Then there's Mass Mystery. And then Moonwalk. It was like a gold. I like that gold. I like that. And then there's Night Owl, which is the last one. This is what they all look like. <laughs> oh my god. That looks crazy. So, yeah, that's what they look like on me uh but yeah tata and mong now i have to get is koya i think shoki chimmy and i think there's one of on i'm not sure let me go get a hand wipe because i i need a hand wipe actually this is bad is it no I gotta show you my favorite stuff. Like seriously, I got pouches to like organize my stuff in my purse, so it's like better for me to like, you know, be organized. You know, like stuff like that. I'm using a wipe to get this stuff off me. That was so many colors. That was like twelve colors. Seriously, twelve. Um, but yeah, is it twelve? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. So. It's nine plus nine, I can't remember. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so there's that. I think I'm pretty good. I got these little pouches from Shein, so yeah, I'll show that in a minute. My little pouches and like stuff to spin them. So yeah. Oh. Ew. Put the wires back there. Last thing I think I got here. Is it last? No, I have two things. So the other one is these cute Hello Kitty fall socks. I had to get them. I'm not a Hello Kitty fan. Like, I don't hate her. She's overrated. But I love 
Papa Porin, My Melody, um, Cinnamon Roll, and Pochaco, Tuxedo Sam, and Hang Yeondon. I do like Karebi, but I'm not a Harlem girl or anything like that, so. But she's cute. I like anything, but Hello Kitty's cute. Why not? These were five pairs. They were five ninety nine. They're so cute. I haven't even like used them yet. Um, but yeah, they're so many cute things. There were so many. They had a lot of things with peanuts. So yeah, they had peanuts bottoms, but not my size. So yeah, it was really crazy. Okay, taking these off. Let's see. Okay, let me show you. The first pair of socks look like. Oh dang, they don't want to let go. They're like, no girl, do not show me to the camera. It's camera shy. Okay, that's funny. Okay, this is the first. This looks like. This looks like Mimi, but it's not Mimi. It's Hello Kitty because she has an or this orange bow. This is the first one. This is what it looks like. I really need to get bigger like socks. I like need new socks seriously. Then this is this one with pumpkin pie. I had to get it because I like pumpkin pie. I like sweet potato pie. I'm not picky. So I wouldn't do a key lime pie. <laughs> then you have this one's like a rainbow for fall. I thought that was so cute. Then you have this pair of socks that have pumpkins and like maple leaves on it with bows. Pumpkin has a bow on it. It's so cute. I love it. And lastly is the everything wait pumpkin spice and everything nice oh my gosh so cute i was so happy to have that and the last item is a juicy couture now i'm kind of debating because i saw online there's another juicy couture pj set it's not a dress set it's like a two-piece set but it's like velour and i like velour so yeah these are the bottoms quite big i'm going to try them on like show you how they look and then give you shorts I thought that was really nice and then they give you the top like I this is like I don't know is this satin or what is this yeah it's a soft satin yeah it's satin but I never wore anything satin before so I'm gonna try them out and show you how they look so yeah just bear with me for a moment so these are what they look like on me I think the top is okay but the bottoms, these are the shorts I'm using. Hold on, I don't know how they can tell But like, these are the shorts. They're kind of tight on me though. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of tight around here. They have thicker thighs, but yeah. I'm going to change into the long pants real quick. This top is perfect. The bottoms are tight right here on my thighs. These are the long versions. Like, I like how it feels on me. I'm not going to lie. So it's going to be really cool. Like, if I pull anything up, I think it's going to rip. <laughs> So these are going to be a return, sadly, but this is so cute. It's flattery on my skin, too, which I really like this. And I like how it says juicy on the back, too, but and this was $24.99, so like, for like 25 bucks, but they're, I'm going to have to return them, sadly. So those PJs did not work out. They're cute. They're very cute. I like how it feels. Oh, my skin's very cooling, but... I have tight around my thighs, and if I pull my pants, pull the pants even more, they're gonna rip. I, I don't want them to rip, so I'm just gonna return them because, <sighs> yikes! But usually I have two pairs of juicy, and then they're like the velour. They're like the soft, real soft. Like I wouldn't say like a teddy. I'll say like a teddy bear felt. They're the velours, and I love them. I have them in pink and green, but I want one with some long PJs because I have my pink ones more like a tank top than a like a long sleeve or a short sleeve and then my green one's more for my sleeping like my pj sleeping so i want something different but i found another one with Kari, so i may try it i'm not sure but but this but it's higher but hopefully i can find like a marshall's or tj maxx or ross i'm i'm a little sad i'm a little disappointed i like I wouldn't want this. Like, I love this mauve color. Like, I love anything that's juicy with purple or mauve. So, yeah, I'm a purple girly. I'm gonna keep girly. So, yeah, I'm. Don't know where I put the bag. Okay. There's the bag. Okay, I'm gonna pull this stuff up real quick because. Why not? Um, I would like to go look at the website of it and see what they have, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, 
the velour one is supposed to be like this. Like it has this in the back. And then the little thing has this JC, but it's really pretty. I like it. I like anything that's velour. Satin. Oh my gosh. I'm still trying to lose my weight, so like so I'm I'm focusing that I'm no, it's a no for me. It's a good price. It's a it's a good price. I'm very happy. Oof, oof, what I got. I wish I did a video googling of like when I was shopping, but I wasn't thinking. Like we went there the night before, and then we went yesterday to like to get the stuff. Uh, we found so many cute Halloween stuff. There was cute Halloween like mugs, cute Halloween like table decor, stuff like that. Hmm. Cute Halloween socks. Of course, I had to look at makeup. They had some cute Korean beauty products and skincare. They had my Toradin, but it's more of the cream. I use more of the serum. So, yeah. Next thing we need to talk about is pouches for back to school. Everyone needs pouches when they go back to school. Okay. I got like three different pouches, and then I got a medicine, like a medicine pill holder. So, wrong one. <laughs> wrong one um i do have to remember like which one do i put stuff in so yes let's start with the cute cat one i got this one i love this one it reminds me of my pet cat little man and we have cupcake so they remind me of the these two lovely little cats but then this bag has more of like wipes i have my sunglasses in here which i don't really use at all they do have some scratches so that's why i decided to make this as my um pencil case back but this is from Timu that's really cute I love purple I got this at Target they were giving out samples I never used it I just got it I have gum in this pouch I've got my touch lens I need to buy another one but it's kind of hard to pick another flavor I like this one's watermelon I got this at Ulta then this one I got hand lotion but I want to try the EOS hand lotion vanilla cashmere because I have the body lotion and I love that smell so much did i have face sunscreen i just put on if you know if i need some sunscreen it's the baby one i got this at walmart so yeah. and then last there's a few things which i have is face mask and what is called uh it's a cord for my portable fan that i take with me so let me pack this stuff back in here i don't want it messy uh, purple fan that i take with me when it's really hot because this year this summer has been really hot it's finally now september so oh my. hopefully it'll get cooler and then this pouch is more of like vitamin hygiene well not vitamin hygiene like vitamin stuff and uh i have band-aids in here and i have this pill case it's empty right now I got this at Sheen too, so I can put pills and stuff in here, like an emergency. Um, and then I have band-aids. I bought band-aids from there. I've got this cute one. It's a tw it's a 30 pack, I think. So let me look. Hold up. Ooh, they got like little dragons and stuff. I see. Okay, hold on. They got airplanes and pineapples. You can't really see unless you're like looking real close at them. But I do have band-aids just in case if there's an emergency happens. You gotta be prepared. I, in the beginning, I was a girl who was never prepared. Like, I didn't bring, like, Tylenol or I didn't bring, like, my algae medicine or, like, lactate because I am lactose intolerant. So, some things can affect my stomach. Lately, nothing has but because I've been careful with what I've been eating. Slowly. <laughs> some ice cream. But certain ice cream I do buy don't upset me, so... That's a good thing. This is this one. I did order the phone case with this, so it's going to come soon. Because I have to buy another pencil case back. I'm returning this one. This, I thought, was going to fit all my pens and stuff. New and old ones. Because I do have some old things that I still keep and still use. Um, but yeah, I thought that was going to fit. But then I realized when I was trying to pack everything in here, the highlighters would keep popping out. Like, I have two old highlighters that are still in good condition. So, I... I gotta return this back, sadly. And then let me show you my back to school items I have. Well, for particularly, um, what do you call that? Pens, highlighters, pencils, uh, midliners, felt tip pens, stuff like that. I don't have notebooks because 
I usually I have books of my own that I do write with and technically I'm learning Korean Japanese and Spanish so I do have like two binders of Korean Japanese and then I have a notebook for Spanish and then I have my commonplace notebook and then I have my gaming notebook <laughs> and I then have my designing book well it's more of like constant creating and designing ideas so oh god I have these highlighters they're from Shein I love them they're very good I like I did swatches of them already they came out really light and they get dark over time so yeah I haven't like used them to like highlight over a word so yeah it's haven't done that yet <sighs> okay next is we're gonna do midliners so i have hot we're gonna do the midliners highlighter section these are highlighters those are my see i have pens that i do use but i have ink ripples for them they're my g2 pilot pens but not the pilot juice pens. I do have juice pens. I did buy some juice pens. The pot, the, bird, the what do you call them? The pastel ones from Amazon. They're really good. I like them. Only sad, only complaint is that sometimes when you write, I think I'm out of ink, but I'm not out of ink. They just try to hide from. <laughs> they try to like, oh, I'm not gonna write this way, so I have to swatch it the other way. So these are my old ones. That's my old one. That's my old one. That's my old one. This is my new one. So. I bought some zebra midliners. They are higher in the store than Amazon. I got them cheaper. So these are my old ones. The only one that died was my green one. So I didn't really use it as much, but it was like I'm like it was drying on me. So I have these. These are like the ones I bought from Walmart back like two, three years, no, two years ago. These are the ones that I did get. These are so cute. I like the pastel colors, so I picked this one. So yeah. Then for highlighters. Of course they're by sharpie i used to have orange one but that one dried on me so i have just these two my yellow and my blue and then for tools well i call them tools for my bag because of course you're going to need a correction tape white correction tape or white out tape as they call it um they're not refillable but i see others that are refillable but i haven't bought those because i don't really use a correction tape as much though then i have my stapler oh I've used this since high school. I'm in college. It'll be my last year in college. So that's how long I've had this. <laughs> Very long. Um, all you have to do with this is just refill your staples and just, you know, just go with the flow. Then I've had this high polymer eraser by Pintel. I like this eraser. As you can tell, I haven't really used it as much because I haven't drawn really that much since middle school, high school. Yeah. Then I have my Pintel 0.7 pen up. Uh, what did it go? 0 0.7 like pencil, mechanical pencil refills. I have a few in there. And then I have a pencil sharpener. This came with an art kit, but I like using this pencil sharpener along with the red one I have. This one's been around for years. It's from Staples, so it's pretty old. <laughs> but it still works good. It really works really well. Next thing, we're going to go with... Okay, those are my tools, things I use, pen refills, stuff like that. Um, let's go with pencils. Let's go talk about pencils. Let me pull out the pencils. Okay. Hold on. I have not many. Oof, I don't have not many pencils. Um, But I gotta look through because I have so many colors. Like, oh my gosh. I need to like... Yeah, okay, and I bought some new pencils. They're mechanical. They're 0.5, so... Oh, no. It's dying on me. My light is dying on me. Hold on. Let me fix it. Let me switch it out. Cut it off. Ah, this, this thing can be so nerve-wracking. When you keep charging it, then you, if you don't use it like a week or so, it wants to die on you and you have to recharge it again. There you go. I'll use this. I'll use that. Okay, I have my mechanical pencil out. I got this pencil. I'm trying to find my other pink one I've had for a long time. Hold on. I'm like a blindie. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm joking. I'm not blind. Okay, there's my inner gels. There's my detail. I'm trying to sail through here. There's my pink. But I have another pink pencil too. Hold on. I'm gonna look at the cap. There you are. So, I have some pencils. I bought these from Amazon. They were really cute. They are these Rilakkuma pencils. It's with him and Ko Rilakkuma. Um, I bought these. They got sold out. These were only $6.99. They're really cute. And I think these are 0 
five. Hold on. No, they're zero point seven. This was a, yeah. One's zero point five. One's zero point seven. Um, I have to go get some zero point five refills there <laughs> because yeah. And then this one's also the my melody Mo mono pencil. This one's zero point five as well. So yeah, I really like using this one too. Then I have, which is odd, I know. My mom bought the Pentel pencil refills when I was in high school. And then whoop, haven't like ran out. But I have paper mate mechanical pencils. But I highly recommend getting this refill because they work really well and they write smoothly. Um, but I have the paper mate um, mechanical pencils. They're all they are all in 0 0.7 um, millimeters, and I have them in green, purple, and pink. Yes. I love those colors. I love that type of color going on. I'm not pink really, but there's some things that I would buy that are pink. So, okay. Then I have these cute pencils. This came with a case. They're by Pen and Gear. They're from Walmart, but they're like a case of pencils that have cute erasers on top. If you see them, grab them. They're cute. And then like a couple years ago, I bought these Hello Kitty pencils for my sister because she likes Hello Kitty. She asked me, out, you, you can have some. So I took three of these. So... And then there's like one downstairs to write, write things we need to get for groceries. But I have these. I thought these were cute. I may not be Hello Kitty fan, but I like love it. It's like so cute. So we're going to do the pintails. I let my mom borrow. Well, I let my mom have my blue one. Um, and I let my sister have a pink one. So they have the pink and blue. I have both purples because my sister gave me a purple. She doesn't like writing in purple. So I have these two purple ones they're both different one's a zero don't wait they're both 0 0.7 but i didn't realize one's a needle tip and one's a metal tip so let me see this is the needle this is one where are you this is what a needle looks like the needle tip they look like this and then the metal tip looks a bit thicker i didn't realize that till now i thought this one's like a 0 0.5 because how i was writing it was like so thin to me i didn't realize and then let's go with my g2 pilot pencils pilot pencils pilot pens i do have the g2 pilots the pilot juice as well i'm gonna pull those out and pull these pilot ones out real quick so yeah i couldn't believe how high the the g2 like pens are in the store until when it's back to school season that's when they're cheaper but like they have the huge pack of like pencils that i really like P pencils they're pens um, that I like, and they're still like, why are y'all so high when it's not, I don't know why pens are so high lately, I didn't realize till now, like, there's like some cheap pens that I do really like, and I'll tell you which ones I like in a moment, but I got them, but like, the other cheap pens don't write as well, they may make my handwriting look soggy, I'm left-handed, so like, I have to write like really well, because I can't sometimes recognize my home handwriting, which is sad but um or like the pen like marks get smeared and i hate when you know when you're writing you get ink on your your like part of your arm or your hand from when you're writing so like i hate that so i wanted to find something that was like smear free like it dries pretty fast so yeah and i have some click art pens and i have my little nami pens left to do and i got the monami ones at shane because i couldn't find them in amazon because they want to send me a big pack. So let's talk about my pilot pens. So these are the pilot G2 pens that I love very much. I bought refills for them because I wrote so much in the black, pink, and purple. But <laughs> um, let's start off with my regular ones. These are the, my main basic ones, purple and black. That's all I wrote in, okay? I like purple and black. I like red and black too, and I like red, wait, black, gray, and white, black, gray, and brown, <laughs> so neutral. and then I saw these back, I think, three years ago, and I bought me and my sister these, I really like how they looked, and so she has her own, and I have my own, so they come in green, black, blue, pink, and purple, I really like the blue, I like this blue the much, and I told my mom, you can have the blue, because I have so much blue pens, like, I have enough blue pens, like, you're gonna have, you can have my Pentel Energel. I even hyped my sister up to get the Pentel Energel pens, because she, like, needs some new pens to write for school. She's in college now, too. Um, and she really likes them, too. I was like, yay, at least I'm, like, I know what I, like, I'm finding and what people like, so I'm like, yay. Then these are the Pilot Juice pens in 
pesto. I'm thinking about getting the standard one because I don't know what to do with the white pen. I don't have, I have black construction paper, yeah, but every other paper I have, they're all white. And if you write and write in white paper, you're not going to see it. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I sh wish they would have put, like, another pastel color, like a pastel orange or a pastel red or a pastel, um, like a teal or something. But they picked white. I don't mind. I do like the quality prints of how they write. They are all 0 0.5. I also like how when you want to hook it on something, you can just lift this up. Like, that's so easy for me. Because this is all, like, you gotta, like, this one's half almost broken, okay? Don't judge. This is almost broken. So, I'm like, I have to be really careful. Um, but, like, I like this. I'm thinking about getting the standard one because I really like pilot pens. I like pen tails. So, yeah. And then my last pen stop, pens are these Dollar Tree pens. I really love how these write though. They can be see through, like like they can ink bleed, but other than I did pretty well like writing in them. I wrote okay, pink is Japanese and the blue is Korean with the purple. Um I have wrote really well. They almost try to die on me, but every time when I write back on them, they like, oh I have more ink now. <laughs> so yeah, I really like these and you can find them at your Dollar Tree. It was kinda hard for me to find them because I was like, where are they? So I had to go another different location to find them. So I found them. And I'm thinking about rebuying the blue. Because the pink, I don't really re like wipe that much with than the blue. Like I study more Korean in my Duolingo. Because I like trying to like build up. But now I gotta go into Jap Japanese and Spanish and build that up too. Because I'm like still in the beginning. So still. <laughs> okay. So those are these pants that I really like. And then lastly are my clip arts. Okay, my click arts. I got these at a different store. I didn't get them on Amazon. I ordered them on Amazon and then they weren't included in my package. So I had to go to a different store and go get them. They were Target. So they were like a little bit higher, like 10 bucks. So no big deal. But let's talk about my Monami pens. But let me set them straight because they're in a pink and it's like purple so let me see this should this be this just should be right so i've got the glacier monami plus pen 3000 i got this one and i have this one in sunset so glacier and sunset and each color are different this one's let me do the pink section first this one's coral this one's a coral pen this one is the pink pen then this one right here is the pure pink that is so cute i'm like oh my gosh so cute um, this one is the fluorescent pink. This reminds me of my sister. <laughs> this one's red. And then lastly, this is supposed to be like a cream orange. Yeah. And then let's do purple. This one's violet. Violet. I wish show the swatches of everything, but I didn't do like a swatch on the Monami, I don't think. This is the light pink. This is the red purple. I thought it was cool, red purple. <laughs> Lastly, we have two left, but we have purple, and then we have lilac, which lilac's my favorite, and then this one's lavender, so, yeah. <sighs> so much, I know, I went crazy with pens, and like, don't judge me, but I needed a new update on pens and pencils, especially cute mechanical pencils, because I don't own any like Sanrio or like San X pens or pencils. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put up the pilots really quick. I'm thinking about getting another juice set, but I'm like, I'm kind of sure because I haven't looked at the standard color yet. Um, but I will next time and see how that goes. Maybe I may upload a sh YouTube short or a TikTok and a TikTok as well, of, like how these pins write and what the colors look like and how they do. Like my highlighters, I'm really happy. I really like those highlighters very much because they're so cute and I like this color scheme very much. I thought this was going to be black, but it's actually a dark purple. Yeah, I think I, there you go. This is, a, it's a dark purple. I like how I bought everything really well. I try to budget sometimes. But when you find something really cute and you really, really want it and it's going to sell out really fast, you're like, 
Oh my god, it's gonna sell on me. I gotta grab it. That's how I felt really bad because I felt really bad because what is it? There you are. No, that's not it, but yeah, here, here. They have a huge, not huge, but they have a mono uh pencil line going on with Sanrio and they had a pop on porn, a cinnamon, my melody, and then they have Hello Kitty and like some other characters of different stuff. But I added pump up porn in my cart and it was already gone. I was like, I wanted that pump up porn. Pump up porn is like my favorite. Am I even saying his name right? Pump up porn. <laughs> Sounds funny. Pump up porn. Yeah, there you go. Um, but he's so adorable. I have a pump up porn plush. And of course, I have like tons of things with Rila Kuma. Because I love Rila Kuma very much. It's one of my favorites. But yeah, I'm putting everything back in this pouch. It's hectic getting things in this pouch. Because it's not as big. The other one too was like hectic. We didn't like want to zip. So I can't wait to do like a video of me packing all of my pens. Tools that I use. Um, my art pencils. Because I do have some art pencils that I do need to put in there with me. To like go and like. Let's say if I want to travel and draw. I do bring a sketchbook with me. But every time when I bring my sketchbook with me. I forget the art pencils. I just don't know how. I just do. It's messed up so i'm gonna put the mid liners in here really quick i feel like putting them in there really quick just do them because they're not that much to do so yeah uh, okay hold on i see a mid liner and then i don't know where to put my tools at either i don't put my ink refills in there though so i'm gonna do i'm gonna slide in you okay i'm gonna yeah put that in there I like how also too the things I do buy that are pens they can be refillable uh, except for the click arts they wait hold on maybe I'm wrong let me see I haven't seen refillables of the click art zebras but you can refill them it looks like you can refill them okay I'm gonna put this back in here I know the mono pencils like the pencils I can refill the mechanical ones um I don't know about the pilot Juice pens? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why do I only have six pilots? Did I put some in here? Oh. <laughs> that went everything. Let me just zip that up real quick. Did I? Yeah, I did put some in here. Okay, my bad. I was like, why don't we have six click art pens? I was like, I don't I had twelve. I like I knew I have twelve. Um yeah. There's those, and then let me put in my pens. More of these pens gotta go in here. I, my huge pen collection is crazy, super crazy. And I also bought from Shein these annotating like stickers, cause when I do read, I don't annotate. I did annotate back in high school because it was like mandatory to do that when we were in English class. But we only had to do that with things that we're reading as in a group as a class, not our individual books, because most of the books that we did read were from our school library or from the city's library. So we didn't get to annotate books. But if we bought our own book, we could annotate it on our own books. Most of the time I read books from my school library. Sometimes I mostly read books from my library for school. So yeah, that's why I have like a huge reading list for high school. But <laughs> I don't like I built up on Goodreads and I like I bought more books to read because in high school we read a lot and I wanted to get back in reading. College we didn't have to really read like books. We had to read more for like articles and things we were researching on. Um, English, we I took two English classes in college and we only had to read things that we researched. We didn't have to read nothing like to read, read like a book, literature, stuff like that. So that was the only thing that was like, oh, this is boring. I need to like read a book that I want to really like, I'm going to enjoy. Okay. I can't zip it up anymore. <laughs> See how crazy it is? I know. It's this pouch. Oh my God. I love this pouch. I've had this since I think middle school and I have a red one, but I put all my other art supplies in there because I have markers and color pencils and all that stuff. But let me go. Let's go. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pick up these two. They fail. Like, why fall? I don't care if they fall, though. Because I can just sit this. 
through here. I just want breakfast. But yeah, I can't wait to edit this video and like post it up because I haven't posted a while on YouTube and like I know last time things I posted it was like cute stuff like let's play with makeup, do things which I I really need to like do my makeup more. Like, I need to practice more of my eyeliner. I'm not really good. As you know, I'm left handed, so like, practicing eyeliner can be really. It's a mess. <laughs> Another thing I do use for school, well, like, for college, I do. I use my scissors. Got these at Walmart. And then I use my screen cleaner. I got this on Amazon. They're unavailable, but I did have them on my storefront. Sadly, they're unavailable, so. Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys my shoes. Like, hi style them next time so yeah bye thanks for watching though i'm so sorry whoa <laughs> my camera um guys i'm so sorry i did forget to show you my crim shop rj version so i'm gonna do that really quick bear with me because i have a lot of stuff that is on top of my makeup palette makeup house makeup case chest i don't know what you want to call it don't mind that. I remember last time I showed you guys my... Oh, this is dying on me, too. <laughs> it's, it's my light died on me. But, that's okay. Um, I forgot to show you guys. I got this also at Marshalls. No, not Marshalls. TJ Maxx. They were at $5.99 for this. Marshall wants their $7.99. So, a little price difference. But, I got the RJ one. And it swatches really well. I've already used it. But, let's go ahead and, you know, swatch. So, I'm going to do I Fluff You. I feel it's very light. It's like a light beige color. Okay. Then there's icy. And then there's cookie crumbs. I thought literally my sister because she literally loves cookies. Then there's chill, which I used yesterday and I love it with my makeup I did with my um, other palette I have that's very huge. Okay. Kiss the cook. One up. Golden honey, very golden. I love how it looks on me. And then there's, of course, sweetie. So this is what they. Oh, they're all beige colors. Sorry for the line sucks right now, but that's what they look like. I might do it like this. This is what they actually look like. I know how the heck I swatched my arms. This is what they all look like. Yeah, crazy. I know. Okay, so. Those are the ones I have of the creme shop. I want to click. I want to click all of them. I have RJ, which his palette is called the Right Fluff. He has nine different colors, and I have not had any reactions to them, so I think they're very safe. They are cruelty free, and they're vegan as well. So, yeah. Of course, I said these two palettes were right here: Galactic and Mauve with me. So yes, I had to get them. <laughs> I can't believe I've got three of them. And I like how they all have different colors. Blue and orange. Red and... I will say red, orange, and yellow. And then like a magenta with a purple. So yes, that's all of them. I'm going to put them up with the other stuff I have in here. Because I have not bought any new blush or anything like that. So I don't have that. Basically everything that's new is like basically eyeshadow palettes. I may need... Guys, I may need to get another new case for my makeup. Maybe not, but go on here, sit with my juicy. Of course, girl, I have to have juicy couture. Of course. Oh gosh. I should have got another wipe and wiped stuff off of me. But I didn't. So guys, thanks for actually watching my video. I totally forgot about RJ. I did not know why. But I super happy that I have them. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. If I do Find more BT21 stuff at TJ Maxx, Ross, or Marshalls, or Burlington. You know I'm going to have to show you. Oh my gosh. Wait. I do forgot. I forgot some nails I got from Shane too. But. Oh my gosh. Wait. It's really cute. I forgot. This is my. See how I keep forgetting this? Okay. This will be the last item I'm showing you. This is my Nintendo Switch OLED cover case. I take when I'm traveling. It's bunnies. I got these at Sheen. It's only eight bucks, eight dollars and thirty cents, I think. Um, but yeah, get that too for your. If you guys got a switch out there, go get your case because you'll need that. You don't want your little buttons to get messed up. So yeah, but guys, thanks for watching. Love y'all.